Hello everyone, it is Malachi with Cosplay Powers, and today we're gonna make it freeze! Sorry, that was, that was crazy, what the hell? Alright, no, seriously, if you're Iceman, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool Iceman edit using Werble. Watch this. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do, go ahead and uh, add the smoke. We're gonna change the blend mode. Actually, let's change the light and the blur. We're gonna change, make it light. I'm going to use the last blur and if I'm going too fast again I say this in every video but you can slow it down you can you know freeze it I do this so that way you know keep the watch time pretty nice but anyway yeah let's add some glow to the ice here so I'm gonna add this glow and then we're gonna add a glow there so we got some smoke coming off of him just looking pretty gnarly here. Um, we're going to add some glow to his eyes. Change that blend mode to overlay. I'm going to duplicate it and then move it over. And now what we're going to do here is change the light. We're going to duplicate and change the lighting because I want to give this guy some dark circles on his eyes. Whenever you want to make someone look evil, you always want to do something like this. And then mask it. We use an inverse mask for this. And then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna blur that out so it doesn't look too crispy. We're gonna give it a little bit of a less lesser crisp. And then we're gonna add the light looks to give more of a blue to it. We're gonna add some lens flur. And then we're gonna add some snow flur. It's cause the weatherman called for it. Oh, that's too blue. Let's change that back. And now we're gonna throw some snowballs at him because we can do that with the Wurble app. Isn't that awesome? Let's change this a little bit though. Let's change the pace of the snowballs and actually give him a snowball because he's gonna be <laughs> throwing his stuff back at us. Like, why are you throwing me a, why are you throwing snowballs at me, man? That's not cool. So we're gonna add, we're gonna give him a snowball so that way he can get ready to start throwing some snowballs. And that's looking, that's looking pretty good, yeah. Um, and sorry this is going like super fast. <laughs> Alright, so let's start moving his elements here. I'm gonna make the snowball kind of move like he's tossing the snowball up and down his fingers. And then let's see what else we can do with this. Yeah, let's add a snowman to the background. So I'm gonna change the snowman, color grade it really quick, and then I'm gonna blur it because we're using that depth of field logic there. Then we're going to add some snow flurries closer to the camera lens so that's going to be a little bit blurred out. Then we're going to add some different shaped uh, snow flakes to give it a little bit more depth. And then now what we're going to do is start moving his limbs. And again I'm doing this really fast. I would highly highly recommend that you will pull your image into Photoshop and actually take the background out so that way there's an alpha channel with your cosplayer. And then take the background and make sure you use the content aware field. That way you don't have this weird looking juggling thing going on. Um, so now we're using Video Leap. So we were done with Wurble. We're going to use Video Leap. I'm going to use this uh, ice graphic, change the blend mode of the screen. And now we have this effect where he's like breaking the ice that's on the camera lens, which just gives it that nice polished look. Um, if you notice here, uh, I kind of forgot to mention this. Uh, let me freeze the, the video here. I did add some icicles to his pecs um, just to kind of give it that extra extra. One thing I would stress when you're using Wurble, don't use too many effects that it looks like a hot mess. So that's pretty much it. Everyone have a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more tutorials next week. See ya.